I'm Deborah Borchardt, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. This week, Massachusetts said that recreational cannabis sales could return on Monday, May 25th. Customers, though, can't go into the stores. They have to make their purchases at the curb. Green Growth Brands filed for insolvency this week. If you may recall, the company closed their CBD chain of stores called Seventh Sense back in March. Well, they had some debentures due in May. They could not pay those, and so they basically filed for bankruptcy. The company has one dispensary called The Source out in Las Vegas, Nevada. We had a lot of earnings to go through this week. We'll just hit the highlights. True Leaf reported that their revenue increased 21% to $96 million. That's over the fourth quarter revenue of $79 million. That beat the Yahoo Finance estimate of $90 million. Cheer Leaf reported that their first quarter sales were $96.5 million. This was an increase of 174%. Their net loss for the first quarter was $15 million, but this was better than the fourth quarter net loss of $26 million. Harvest Health and Recreation reported that their revenue came in at $45 million. That was an increase of 134% over 2019 first quarter revenue of $19.2 million. Their net loss was $20 million for the first quarter. Acreage Holdings said that it expects to take a pre-tax non-cash charge of between $80 million and $100 million for the first quarter. The company also sold their one medical marijuana dispensary in North Dakota, and they sold their undeveloped real estate asset in Nantucket in Massachusetts. Hexo stock plunged this week after the company announced they were doing a $50 million offering. They priced the shares at 90 cents, but then they sold down to 73 cents, and that's in Canadian dollars. And then finally, Aurora Cannabis is buying a U.S. CBD company called Reliva for $40 million. And that's it for this week. I'm Deborah Borchart reporting for the Green Marker Report. Everyone, have a great week.